What's up guys? This video is a review on a pair of soccer cleats. They are the ASICS Lethal Flash DS. Now for those of you who don't know, ASICS is a very popular company in uh, running and a few other sports, um, but they don't ha really have a market in uh, soccer cleats. Um, the Lethal Flash is one of the few um, cleats in the ASICS line, um, and they actually are a very good pair. I would recommend them. Um, to start off, ASICS uh, offers a technology to soccer cleats that is very unique compared to um, other companies. Um, right now, the hype seems to be like the, the cleats, they have to be lighter, they have to have carbon fiber sole plates, memory foam, and, and all that jazz, but that's not what ASICs are all about here. Um, the highlight of the boot is actually in the HG 10 millimeter technology, and also what gives it uh, the sole light technology right here. Um, and what that does is the HG technology um, lifts your heel 10 millimeters above um, your, your toe. So you're actually kind of in an athletic stance or a, um, a sprinting position. Um, and that actually has less strain on your lower limbs. Um, now the soil light is what, is, uh, is what they call it, is a built-in shock absorbing uh, mechanism. Um, it's a foam that's designed to just absorb shock as you're running, um, but also increase the durability of the shoe. Um, those are the biggest technologies of uh, ASICs. So compared to something that's going lighter, like a Vapor or um, an F50, these are based more on, you know, you actually, um, making sure that you're not fatigued or injured, um, that you are the all running machine and you, you are good for all season, all game, um, that type of deal. Um, but I can say that it works very well. I mean, uh, when I had Vapors and my F50s, um, after a game I would always come out and I would feel like my uh, my calves were like Charlie Horse or something because um, I just strained them so much. Um, but these, I never got that feeling. So it's actually very beneficial when I take it to tournaments or just play all day um, with a few teams because, um, again, they keep your heel elevated. Um, you really don't have to worry about being on your toes. Uh, it reminds me of the first, um, I'm sorry, the second vapor, um, if you will. Um, especially um, when you go into this heel lock right here. Um, it just, when you are in here, it just, it holds your heel very tightly. Um, and then it, there's no room for slippage. Um, and then if you see the curvature of the boot right here, see how steep that is? That actually holds uh, your your arches in place, and really, you have a nice speed-based boot. Um, now, they are about 9 ounces for a size 9. Uh, I have a 9.5, but um, they feel a lot lighter than, than they sound. I know, like, um, like the Pumas, the F50s, they are all, like, uh, under 6 ounces, which is really light. But for soccer, I don't think you need something um, entirely that light when you have something built so well. Um, moving into the material, these are actually a synthetic pair of boots. So even better, um, they're durable, um, but they also feel very nice. It's not a Sejin, or uh, what you guys would call Tajin um, technology, nor is it any type of microfiber. It's just, it's just listed as high-grade synthetic, but if you see that right there, it's just so good to the touch. Um, it reminded me of a, a Nike Tempo Legend Lite, for those of you who remember. Um, the, the touch is phenomenal, um, and then actually it's water resistant as well, so you can actually wear these in um, uh, quite wet terrain. Mm. Now it's actually meant for um, firm ground and artificial turf, so you can use these on turf. Um, but if you see, I don't know if you can see that here. Uh, no, I don't think you can see it. Um, but it says um, multi-traction technology, um, basically what that stands for. I'm sorry, multifunction technology is um, that you can pretty much use it on any surface. Uh, now, I've tried using these in wet surfaces. Um, in wet surface, it does okay, but if it's like sap and wet, then you might want to get your um, soft ground cleats out. Mm, the insoles, they're not anything too special. Um, they're just. They're just blah. I'll show you guys. It's very hard to do with one hand. I don't know how those guys do it and all their reviews with the others. But if you see here, it's nothing special. Just just 
just plain old plain old. But remember, it's got the cell light built in, um, which again is a shock absorber. So I mean, you really don't need an expensive soul, um, insole in there. Um, the heel liner I already talked about before, but just grips your heel so well. Um, I don't know if you could see in there, but you see how it it, it, dig, it digs in right there, and then you have this padding around, so it really grips your ankle very well. It's very comfortable too, which is what I like. Um, and obviously the heel counter there, external heel counter. So if someone tries to get mean with you, then you'll um, you'll have some protection. Otherwise, a very very nice shoe. Um, yeah, and it's basically built like a traditional shoe. So it looks a lot like what a tempo or something would look. Um, but when you put it on, it's actually kind of like a speed boot. Um, what I also like is that if you turn this around here, so you see these studs, and then you see the the standard cone studs here. Um, the cone studs, they give you no stud pressure at all. Um, seriously, like I've been using these in the hard grounds where it's like 99 degrees out and the, the grass is just dry. No stud pressure whatsoever compared to some cleats I've had, which really hurt. Um, and what I like is also if you're somebody who runs on your toes like I do, these grip, these actually grip um, when you're on your toes versus a vapor. They have those little spikes there that absolutely do nothing and we all know it does nothing. Otherwise, I mean, I'm very happy with these cleats and that's why I make these videos. Um, actually, I don't make videos, I just make one video. Um, but that's why I recommend these. Is, uh, so a vapor you get um, is like 300 bucks full price. Um, my brother got me these Adi Zeros um, and they were 250 bucks customized. I mean, of course, I would never buy anything like that. But these cost me, geez, I think it was 40 bucks on uh, SoccerSavings.com. Um, I mean, like, what a great deal. I mean, their normal price is 150 Even I would have paid even that, um, to be honest. But just a really well-built shoe. Again, you have that, um, you see the shape of the boot. It gets bigger, um, and then very skinny, right around the arches, and then big at the heel again. So it gives you that kind of, like, customized um, fit when you put it on. And the touch is just amazing. I don't understand, like, how they did this. Um, so it's, it's definitely not kangaroo leather. Um, it's not Sejin, um, and it's not some kind of microfiber, but they're using something very special. It feels almost like kangaroo leather, um, but it's very durable. I've used these for a season. Uh, that's why I changed the laces and try to clean it up for the video a little bit, but very nice. I mean, um, I would definitely recommend you up here. Um, the only problem I had was, again, if it's sop and wet out, then these will slip. The, the studs aren't that long. Um, but there's enough of them where it's like um, um, drizzling out, then you can still have enough grip. Um, but if it's raining hardcore, you definitely want to pull out your um, soft ground cleats. The studs are actually also a little bit um, rubberized at the bottom. So if you are someone who likes to put your um, foot on the ball, drag it to the side, or do the foot flap, um, these actually work very well. Um, they're grippy. I think they meant to do that for the, the grass or the, the the whatever turf you'd play in, but they work very well on the ball as, as well. But yeah, definitely, um, I don't know if I mentioned the, the break-in period or not, very tight. Um, they fit very, very tight in the beginning. Um, I do have a slightly wider foot, um, but they did hurt a little bit during the break-in process, which took about... Um, about three sessions, maybe four sessions. Um, but after they break in, they're so comfortable and they are just so nice. Very stiff out of the box, but once you break them in, very nice. And the material that you feel here, you'll know it'll, it'll last a long time. It's not something that you'll just um, throw away after a season. Um, I'm definitely planning to keep this around for another two, maybe three seasons, but I've already ordered a, um, another pair just so <laughs> I can just keep using these because Really, they are a very nice set of cleats. So uh, that's my video. Again, I recommend these. Buy them. Um, they're good for you. They're not that, you know, let's make everyone super fast and super speed of light type of deal. They're just like, hey, if you want to play for a long time and not be cramping or hurting afterwards, this is a good shoe to go with. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. So have a good one.